Planet X TV. Hi, I'm Bucky Lassick, and you're watching Planet X. Only here, 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 What's up, Planet X? Chilling today with Thomas DeSoto right here at the Inn at Sunset Cliffs, beautiful San Diego. What's up, Tommy? How you doing, buddy? Very good, thanks. Thanks for having me here. Man, thanks for coming, dude. It's been a great day. You are a legend in photography, films, everything like that. As a career, you've done this professionally. Can you tell me how you got into that and what made you take that leap? A long time ago when I was a little boy, I knew that um, by practicing all the different arts, whether it be writing or you know photography or sculpture or ceramics or you know painting it all kind of like jived with each other and they kind of rubbed against each other and it polished each other out <laughs> right. so not only did i practice photography but i did all the arts so it may surprise some people that i actually have a hit song out on spotify right now with a title song called will you heal me and uh, I actually won the Academia Music Awards uh, recently for uh, a hit song that I have. So I, I practice all the arts, not just photography. How old do you think you were when you got into photography? Uh, I think I was about seven years old. Dang, you guys. So he's doing a pretty long time. Not to say anything over there, buddy, but it's definitely the professionals over here. So you've worked with top surf magazines. You've worked with some major athletes. Can you tell me what that's like, Ben? You know, it's just been a joy and a lot of fun to help the careers of so many different people that have excelled, you know, in the, you know, various, you know, sports that I've been involved with. And uh, I've just been very, very blessed to have, uh, you know, witnessed all of them. Uh, right now I'm working with the U.S. Olympic track and field team, and those guys are just awesome. I can just, they're just awesome. <laughs> Is there anybody that stands out from the past or the future that you might have to do with? Well, one highlight to my career was uh, when I was asked to uh, create uh, a tabletop book for Helio Gracie and the Gracie family. And uh, so uh, Hori and Gracie asked me whether or not I could document all of his father's secret moves for future generations. And uh, later on, uh, they came up with a really nice book that has been, uh, you know, put into five different languages around the world, and it's considered now one of the greatest martial arts uh, books in the world. And uh, my name's on the front cover, so <laughs> I, I guess they can't take that away from me. <laughs> <laughs> That's intense. That's super sick. And we'll be right back with more, more Planet X. <laughs> Planet X TV. No problem of human destiny is beyond human beings. I am talking about genuine peace, the kind of peace that makes life on Earth worth living. Not merely peace for Americans, but peace for all men and women. Not merely peace in our time, but peace in all time. Man's reason and spirit have often solved the seemingly unsolvable and we believe they can do it again. For in the final analysis, our most basic common link is that we all inhabit this small planet. We all breathe the same air. We all cherish our children's futures. And we are all mortal. I knew. It hit me. I realized. I realized. I realized. Why walk when you can fly? TV. What's happening, Planet X? Back here at beautiful San Diego, Tommy DeSoto, hanging out with myself, Gavin. I'm asking him about his awesome celebrity friends and some of those clients that he's got going out. Anybody standing out or anything that pops in your mind right now? Well, of course, uh, at the top of the list is uh, Helio Gracie himself. I was fortunate enough to be asked to... Uh, wait, 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 give me that! I got Harry Gracie! Ferndog Miller was the top athlete last year. When did this guy show up? I don't understand what's going on. That's it. I'm out of here. 
uh, uh, yeah, sorry, you guys. Sorry, uh, y'all know Bernie. He's the man. So, watch you back later, bro. <laughs> Who was that guy? Our <laughs> next special guest, Bernie. You guys know him, familiar face over here. Got a project going out in Hamul right now. I heard it's pretty big. I don't know if we should be telling everybody, but I want to hear about it. Literally bought the farm, and uh, it's a couple of hundred acres out in Hamul, California. Woo! The J is silent south of the 8. We all know that. <laughs> but a couple of hundred acres out there, and we do a lot of things like uh, chasing chickens around. I mean, let's face it, chicken kicking, it's a sport, and it's coming back. Ha! And we also have goats and sheep and a ram. Let's face it, you know why they call it the Dodge Ram? Because my ram kicked the goat's ass, and you wouldn't want to call it the Dodge Goat. <laughs> so, we got everything going on out there. Not only are we doing a health and fitness training area for all of our Olympic athletes, but farm-to-table dinners, we're trying to teach people how to eat healthy, and also have a lot of fun at the same time. So, festivals and all other kinds of stuff that they're doing. We're planning a nice this fall, a nice little uh, Oktoberfest nice. where Tommy Boy is going to be there and all of his people are going to be there too and they're going to be playing a lot of music as well as we actually got some pumpkins growing. I got like 50 <laughs> pumpkins growing, man. No, and they're going to put off about three or four pumpkins each. Okay. And if the gophers don't eat them all like they did two years ago, let's face it, the gophers are a big problem. Just watch that movie Caddyshack. <laughs> and... That's what's going to be happening out there, not to mention a lot of the good stuff, camping and hiking and all that stuff that's going on. And we're going to have a blast and a whole lot of fun. We allowed to know the name, Bernie? It's called Sweetwater Ranch because in Hamul, Hamul means sweet water, and believe me, our water that's coming out of the well right now is the most amazing water ever. 7.2 on the pH level, and it is just amazing tasting. So, yes, Sweetwater Ranch. Hamul.com is what we are, and you come check it out. Site's under construction, by the way, so don't check it out too soon. <laughs> Bernie, right here, going down, checking out his farm. Go check it out, you guys, yourself. Sweetwater, right on the ranch. See you guys soon. Planet X TV. This is a public disservice announcement from the Sigmund Freud Institute of Mental Health. Our professors have performed extensive research by watching numerous episodes of Planet X TV with its many, many Anya reporters. Our psychiatrists here at the institutes concur with one clear diagnosis. Planet X has a severe multiple personality disorder complex thingy blah 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 blah. In order to significantly reduce this problem, our viewers should watch Planet X as much as possible for several years until the symptoms seem to substantially subside into this after scenic suburban sunset scenery. And be sure to remember that it's very, very important to blah 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 blah. Now Planet X is fortified with vitamin X. Introducing the new, exciting, extra-strength vitamin-fortified Planet X, now with Pepsin, is unavailable for the very first time. This is such an incredible deal that it can't be beat. Call now. All we ask is that you pay the shipping and handling cost. The brightest stars in the galaxy are on Planet X. Only here. Only here. Only here. Only here. So here you are, right here in the middle of where it's all happening. These guys are amazing. They're part of the staff here that are going to make things just perfect. So there's going to be no mistakes whatsoever, except for maybe with those technical subs that are going into the pool behind us. But guys, what do you think? Is it all going to happen today? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Bernie Miller with Planet X, and I'm here with Pat Sullivan at the RoboSub competition, annual competition has been going on for 18 years. Pat, tell us what is expected out of these young teams here today. Well, it's really a pretty incredible event. So they've come here from all around the world and brought their gear, and what they're going to do is they're going to go into this giant pool that we have here behind us, and they're going to have their uh, they're going to have their underwater autonomous vehicles kind of run through an obstacle course and complete kind of a set of missions that they have to complete 
and they're going to be scored against that that kind of mission space uh, as they go through the rest of the week. Now the, the teams that actually do the best will actually go ahead and do that again on the final day when we look at the final competition. So it's really a pretty challenging event. These vehicles are fully autonomous, so they're not remotely operated. When they put them in the water and let them go, there is no operator interface or control that they're actually that they're going to be operating them with. They have to go into the water, they got to, they got to decide where they're at, and they got to go out and conduct the mission autonomously through a series of sensors and decisions that those vehicles will make themselves in order to complete the mission. And the folks that do the best and make it all the furthest the way through the mission will be the ones that go into the final round. And so in that, we could say that they are being judged on that criteria. Is there any other criteria too that's going to help in one way or hurt in another? Uh, so, you know, what, what the teams will find is as, as they put their vehicles in the water and test them in this obstacle course, things won't work, right? And so there's a lot of engineering that's going to happen here on the ground, right? When they find things don't work, there'll be changes. They'll be making changes to their software. They'll be making changes to the hardware uh, to make sure that those vehicles will do as best as they can. And so, you know, the innovation of their approach and kind of how the system comes together is also part of the grading criteria that we use. Good morning, everyone. Uh, as Daryl mentioned, my name is Todd Gloria. I'm the state representative uh, for San Diego. I represent San Diego up in the state capitol. Uh, I, uh, I love the fact that this is our 18th year of this uh, competition here in San Diego. I can't think of a better place to do an event of this kind than in this city. Uh, I'd like to point out that we are uh, a proud military town. San Diego has a tr long tradition of supporting our Navy Marine Corps. Uh, in fact, I'd point out that I am the legislature's first Native American, Filipino, Puerto Rican, Dutch assembly member. The way that, yeah, where are my Puerto Ricans at? I know there's a, yeah, there we go. The way that happens is the Navy. Uh, all four of my grandparents served in the military service some way or another, and they came to San Diego, and they stayed. And I think that's a part of our intention here by having all these wonderful teams from around the country and around the world. We are at the leading edge of the 21st century economy. We're proud to have strong high tech and life sciences and other parts of our uh, uh, technology community that are really creating uh, the amazing technology that is making our quality of life get better, and importantly, the kinds of jobs that allow people to live in a city as expensive as San Diego. So between being a proud military town and a proud innovation city, I think this is the exact right place to have this competition. And I want to say to the competitors that are here today, we are so very, very proud to have you in San Diego. And in particular, while we love everyone who's here, and for every visitor, welcome to San Diego and have a great time. Hope you get to check out something other than the pool while you're here, because uh, we have some pretty awesome beaches and the gas lamp quarter somewhere you can probably go and celebrate later. Um, but to our locals who are here, to our students from SDSU, from UCSD, San Diego City College, where are you guys at? Give a shout out to those folks. Right on, right on. To our San Diegans who are here, you make us so proud by competing in this. And no matter who wins, we just know that we're better off with young people like yourselves who are really leaning in and making sure that we stay on the cutting edge of technology. So uh, just in summation, uh, best of luck to everyone who's here, and we look forward to welcoming you back here next year in San Diego because this is the place that this event should be held. Thank you all very much. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Stay tuned for Planeta X. <laughs> Right back with more Planet X. Planet X TV. The ocean is my home. It is so powerful. I get to share that environment with all the animals. It's just scary to, to think that we are destroying that. It's crazy not to protect it. Join me in Oceana. Let's help the oceans catch a break. This guy's my new bodyguard. Oh yeah! Anything? Hey, subhuman creature, you shall serve the Empire as lunch. Nice. He's got to move on, folks. This guy is busy. We are the Slyborg. Lower your shields and surrender. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. Persistence is futile. The brightest stars in the galaxy are on Planet X. Only here. Only here. Only here. Only here. Hey, Planet X, we're back here with Tommy, hanging out at the Inn at Sunset Cliffs. I want to hear about Tom Kerr and Search Films featuring with Rip Curl. What was that like? 
Well, I got the great opportunity by Sonny Miller to go down and help him film from LAN uh, Tom Curran uh, surfing at uh, this legendary spot called uh, Jeffrey's Bay in South Africa. And so uh, it ended up uh, becoming a, a, a very popular surf movie called Searching for Tom Curran. And later I, uh, we won the Surfer Pole Awards for it in 92. And then we also, uh, I got awarded uh, in 2013 as capturing the greatest wave in surfing history. And that was the wave that Tom Curran caught, his first wave at Jeffrey's Bay that has been, you know, so legendary. And um, I filmed that, so uh, I guess they can't take that away from me either, right? <laughs> uh, that's been featured. I think you can see that anywhere. That's been a major wave we're talking about, you guys. So you have many celebrity friends, many clients. Is there anybody that stands out? Any fun stories? Well, Helio Gracie has to be, you know, top of the list. Sure. Um, I, I did the Gracie tabletop book for the Gracie family, and it's been put into about five different languages around the world. Nice. And uh, is considered by many to be one of the greatest uh, martial arts books of all time. And uh, it, my name's on the front cover, so. <laughs> Planet X, got my main man Tommy over here, hanging out in San Diego, loving it, awesome. That's his hometown, where he grew up in, San Diego. Is this a good spot for everything? How is this line of work? Is it San Diego a good location for all of this? Well, I can remember uh, many years ago when Steve Hawk was telling me, hey Tommy, can you uh, shoot pictures of my little brother Tony? Uh, he's getting pretty good at skateboarding and maybe you can get him uh, sponsored. I said, I'll see what I can do. Or when uh, Beaver Theodosis told me about this young boy by the name of Jeremy McGrath who may become a top athlete one day in the motocross. And is there any way we might be able to go down and shoot a few pictures of him, Tommy? And uh, sure, I think we can do something like that, Beef. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it has been a great place to be a photographer. <laughs> the heart of action sports right here, San Diego. Tommy knows all about it. Tommy, word on the street is there's a Tommy Delish and the Hot Chicks band going on. You want to get into that at all? Uh, we got a new show coming out called Tommy Delish and the Hot Chicks and uh, <laughs> it's part of the Thomas DeSoto 
life on the detour uh, episode that we're going to be working on and uh, you may be able to see a few episodes here pretty soon. Definitely check that out you guys. Tommy, is there anything else you want to tell us about the future and the upcoming projects? Yes, I just wanted to uh, you know, do a shout out to uh, Steel Pulse. Uh, they're good friends of mine and they're coming out with a new album and um, I just wanted to congratulate you know David Hine and David Electricy and a bunch of the other boys um, for a unbelievable and wonderful reggae album it's just awesome and congratulations boys Sick. I'm looking forward to that you guys Tommy DeSoto right here on Planet X beautiful San Diego we'll see you guys soon Planet X TV. If you wish to appear on Planet X TV, or to get more information, please email us at info at Blah, 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 blah. Hello there. My name is Jakai Mickelson, and I'm a Planet X viewer. And I'm here to give you the message I received a couple years ago. You should be watching Planet X. You should be watching nothing but Planet X. Look into my eye and realize you should be watching Planet X. There is nothing else but Planet X. Quit your job and do nothing but watch Planet X.
You are watching Planet S. You will eat, sleep, and breathe. Planet X. I caught one this big. Planet X TV.